morning, my faithful YouTube subscribers. Welcome to another glorious day in the middle of the coronavirus. 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 It's the coronavirus. 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 It's the coronavirus. Hey, coronavirus. 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 It's the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus, coronavirus, it's the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus pandemic. <sighs> so, y'all ain't scared of the coronavirus yet. Huh? He ain't afraid of it. You running up to nightclubs, playing cards with your friends, going to Halloween parties, hanging out, traveling, going places, doing shit. And then the coronavirus is going to sneak up and bite you on your ass. Then how you going to feel? Everybody say, Walter, you crazy focusing on this coronavirus. I'm not crazy. Yeah, I'm very afraid of the coronavirus. Very afraid. Because I know this ain't no joke. Those of you following Donald Trump, ignorant dumb ass off a fucking cliff are going to regret it. Everywhere Donald Trump is going with his rallies, the coronavirus is going right behind him, on stage with him. He's killed hundreds of people who died as a direct result of Donald Trump's dangerous rallies in this pandemic. Ooh, something bit my leg. I think you might have bit me on my leg. <laughs> so, today is Monday, November 2nd. The year is 2020. Like I said, we're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, but people seem to think this don't exist. Another thing, we'll come back to the pandemic in a minute, coronavirus, because it ain't going to look like no time soon. It's going to go away. It's going to magically disappear. And that's a motherfucking lie. Did you all see the news where these Trump supporters ran the Biden bus um, in Texas, almost ran it off the road and actually damaged one of the volunteers who was following the Biden bus to an event in Texas, and they, they got um, um, a lot of these Trump supporters, a caravan of them, surrounded the bus and tried to stop the bus from going to its destination. And they were actually successful in keeping the, the Biden people were fearful that there was going to be car accidents or shooting. They just pulled over and said, "Okay, we, we're not continuing this." Those Trump supporters who did that are going to be facing federal charges interfering with election federal highways they're going to get their tag numbers and they're going to get their asses and they're going to lock them up federal charges so let's just keep an eye on that as that, that process begins the investigation right now they got tag readers all up and down that highway and they're going to find out who the, each individual is in those cars and they're going to get them they've already identified a couple of them they're not going to get away with that. That was real stupid on their behalf. Now they're going to end up, they, could, they may end up actually going to federal prison serving time because of that foolishness on that highway. It ain't no, so that goes to show you how dangerous Donald Trump supporters are. They don't give a fuck. If Donald Trump is reelected, we never going to eradicate the coronavirus, COVID-19, from the United States. Other countries have no cases of coronavirus. They've been able to keep it under control. Taiwan, China, they've had huge events. The virus is gone. No medications to control it now. Just through social distancing, testing, isolation, and quarantine, they were able to stamp the virus out of their countries. We can't do that here. Because we're too busy having Trump rallies. Foolishly having Trump rallies. And I talked to my friends. some good coffee today. I talked to a lot of my friends. Let me sit my ass down. Hey, I'm old. Oh, shit. Yeah, sit my ass down. I talked to a lot of my friends. And they don't... I've never met a group of people who are more nostalgic. They don't give a damn about this coronavirus. Nobody seems to care until they end up in the hospital on a ventilator. I heard all kinds of shit. When you die, if you, get on, if, you get, if, you, if you choose to get on the ventilator, uh, I don't, let me, uh, well, uh, uh, people don't choose to go, I, I in an emergency room, I see, I think I'll take that ventilator. That doesn't work that fucking way. They are forced to put them people on the ventilator because they cannot breathe. 
if you are put on a ventilator, that is the last. Uh, it's not like they just decide, well, do you want to do the ventilator or you don't want to do the ventilator? No, dear. <laughs> Trust me. I'm like, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard. People don't choose to be on a ventilator. <laughs> if it gets to that point, you're going to die without the ventilator. Oh, my goodness. That's what these people could be that damn stupid. When the Earl of Adam in the hospital, then he come over and tap him on the shoulder and said, Mr. Mr. Banks, would you like to try the ventilator so we can see if this will make you feel better? And now that ain't what happened. Earl coded in that hospital. Had a heart attack. His heart stopped beating. They had to put him, that thing down his throat so he could breathe and then slap him on that ventilator. Don't y'all get it? I do. I guess because I was there. And I guess if I wasn't there, I probably would not have known that you don't have, really have a choice. You don't have a say. So yeah, I'll take the ventilator. No, don't work like that, honey. So some of my friends and family members, they just don't give a fuck. When they plan at Thanksgiving dinner, I won't be there. I'm like, okay. Y'all niggas going to work, clubs, parties, events, social, this. And then we all going to sit together for Thanksgiving pretend as if, no, I'm not coming to that. Mm -mm. Uh, if I have any type of Thanksgiving, I'll prepare it right here. And I know how to cook a turkey, dressing, sweet potatoes, macaroni, and cheese, collard greens. I can do it right here in this kitchen. It works just fine. And I don't need a big turkey. I need a little small turkey. Just go get a little marinated turkey. I can go get a fried turkey for that matter. And they are quite delicious from Copeland's. Pick me up a fried turkey, make me some greens. I guess they're all come over here and get, I don't know, down here. That's up to him. But I sit right here and eat me some macaroni and cheese. I make the best macaroni and cheese. I give me some macaroni and cheese. Now the only thing I suffer with is Earl always made the dressing. I don't know how to make dressing. So I'm gonna have to buy some of that from Copeland's too. Give me a pint of that dressing too over there, but not throw that shrimp in it. So uh, if Donald Trump is reelected, we are in trouble. Just on coronavirus, we're in trouble because he is not taking it serious. He don't care. In his mind, the virus doesn't exist. So Donald Trump don't give a shit about this coronavirus. Since he don't care about this coronavirus, it puts us in a bad position. If he is reelected, we never gonna tackle the issue so we can get somewhat back to normal until there possibly is a vaccine. I don't think there will ever be a vaccine available, just my opinion. But uh, there might be a treatment I ain't so that vaccine ain't working. <laughs> it already killed some people already. I'm like, okay. Y'all not paying attention to people that die from the vaccine. They have to pause this. Pause oh shit. That folks didn't die. And as they continue to test us, if they have more deaths, then they got to start all over again. So we, it might be a long time, if ever, we get a vaccine for COVID-19. So don't hold your breath waiting for that. So, But we can control the virus through social distancing, quarantine, and testing. Something other countries have successfully done. China, Taiwan, other places have been able to to get the virus under control. Uh, I believe parts of Australia have also done it that way. But for some reason, we don't want to do that here. It almost makes me, well, the reason why, because like the leadership at the time, Donald Trump is a goddamn fool. Donald Trump is a goddamn fool, and the people vote for him are, are fools. And so we have... Some very foolish people making decisions, and uh, it's not going to be well for the United States. It's not going to end well for us if he is reelected. And you walk and say, "What Biden going to do?" Well, Biden is not the president right now, so we can't predict. We can, can only say he he's. We got to choose between two people. The fool that's in office right now doing nothing, are the man who's promising to come in and do something. Those are your two choices. If Donald Trump said he ain't doing shit, y'all already said he don't give a fuck about the coronavirus. He don't care. He don't care. He won't listen to the scientists. He won't do shit. So you can decide to go with Donald Trump, who don't give a fuck, or go with Biden and give him a chance to do something. Those are your options. I'm going with Biden. Fuck Donald Trump and company. The lady in his hell. I can't take it no more. I can't take Donald Trump's ignorance no more. I can't take it. I'm son in my face. I can't take that son no more either. So, we all have to make a decision. Those of you who support Donald Trump and those of you who want something different, a different path. If you think we can survive, this country can survive four more years with Donald Trump, then fine. Vote for him or don't vote for him. And CJ is at home. I don't think this country can tolerate 
too many, too much more time with Donald Trump. I just don't see that being. I, he's too damaged. He's, too, he's caused too much confusion and chaos. I told you I was about these ignorant black folks voting for Donald Trump, voting for somebody that does that's going to help with your own personal demise. How these stupid can you be? And they also quick to say, "Oh, he let a few people out of jail." So fucking what? I'm like, okay. Donald Trump been in office for the past three and a half years. What has he done for you lately? Nothing. Nothing. But if you're happy with Donald Trump, like I said, you can stick with this man that's in his office now doing nothing. Or we can run with somebody who get, who who's promising to do something. I'd rather take promises to somebody who told you he ain't doing shit. He done. He didn't work around by us. He don't give a fuck. And as for you fools sitting around here ignoring this virus, oh boy. You know, I'll never forget this. All my friends who downplayed HIV and AIDS in the early 90s. The conversations I had with these black guys about HIV and AIDS, it was fake. It didn't exist. It's not as bad as they say it is. It's not killing people. It's the medicines killing people. It's Walter. Don't believe this shit. They, everything's fake. Blah, blah, blah. This is what people were saying. In the late 80s, early 90s about HIV and AIDS. They're not dying from AIDS. It's something else going on. Well, all those people who was talking is Jack, blah, 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 blah. They're dead now from AIDS. They're dead. Because they refuse to wear a condom, practice safe sex, and reduce their sexual part. They just like, yeah, uh-huh. I love it. But they did now. They did all of them. All of them. All of them that talk that shit. I, I don't know. There are very few people I know who lie from that area in my life. And I'm talking about thousands of people. Y'all did. All of them. And they talked a whole gang of shit about HIV and AIDS back then. And I would just be in total fucking shock. Call me a fool and all kinds of shit. And this, and this, this, I said, okay. Well, they're all deceased and dead and long gone. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Never thought I'd ever been. I, can't, I don't even know where that song, but I'm still standing. Because I took it serious. I listened to them scientists. This is what they were saying. What did you say? <laughs> Put it on a condom. I strapped me on a condom, honey. Put it on a condom, honey. Oh, you don't want to use a condom? You want me to take this condom off? Okay, let me put my pants on me and let me get the fuck out of here. Bye! You know how many guys I was in bed with about to screw their asses and they didn't want me, they want me to take the condom off? I thought, like, what are we taking the condom off for? I just put the condom on. What are we taking it off for? Oh, you like these condoms? Yes, I do. And I would get up and get dressed. Because they really didn't want to use the condom. I mean, we, we went through all these dates, got to know each other and all this shit. You should have told me that day one, Walter, when we were sitting up in that fancy, smashy restaurant and I was paying for dinner, you should have said, Walter, I don't like to use collar. I said, wait a minute, check. <laughs> you paying for this steak, buddy. I'm not even the fuck about it. You don't use collar. Wait a Separate checks. Separate them damn checks. Now, you still want that steak you order? You might want to order your burger. And I'm not even get the fuck out of here. See, people don't tell you the intentions until you, you get in bed with this, you know, smooching and kissing and getting on and you get everybody else blood and devil in it. Oh my god. What? The music comes to a halt. What you say? I said, look, it's for me. Oh no, I said, let me get dressed and go on back home, 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 home. This is a waste of time here. Bye, see you later. And them niggas, so they did now. Them guys that I was laying next to in bed, talking all this shit about they hate columns and all this shit, they are all deceased. Dead. So I'm listening to all these people talking about this coronavirus. Ah, he ain't doing nothing. He don't mean shit. Blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, okay. Well, the part that got me was that people choosing to be on the ventilator. Huh? Okay. <laughs> when they told me that, I was like, People choose to be on the ventilator? No, you don't choose. I'm thinking, I can't even explain it to them. You don't go into the emergency room and say, well, you know, I'm not really feeling too good. Can you put me on the ventilator and see if that helps? That ain't what happens. But they'll find out what happens 
They keep talking that shit. They all up in parties and the Halloween parties, shaking their groove thing all night. Shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing. Shake it, baby. Hey, so I'm happy to do it, y'all. Came in from New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Miami, Washington, D.C. Hey, shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing, baby. Show them how to do it, y'all. And the coronavirus right there. Hey, the coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. Hey, coronavirus. he had a costume on, man. Well, who was your name? It's the coronavirus. It's like a scene from American Horror Story. The coronavirus. They took the coronavirus home to the hotel with them. And he bit their fucking ass. They didn't care. They didn't care. I've never seen so many irresponsible people in my entire life. Of course, setting the prime example set by your lovely president, Donald motherfucking Trump. But I said, okay, we're in the middle of a pandemic. And you niggas in parties and clubs celebrating Halloween. <laughs> Criticizing me because I'm at home. I'm your life must be boring, Walter. You, you should be out doing stuff. <laughs> Running from the coronavirus? No, dear. Uh, I'm not that fast. They see that motherfucker run 600 miles per hour. Pew! And get your ass out. Oh, no, no, no. I'm old me. I'm going to sit my ass at home. I don't have to run from it. Then they criticized me. And I said, well, I'm going to work out at home. Do my exercises here. Just for the next few months until I, as I watch the coronavirus eat everything in sight. You know, like locusts ate me. <laughs> what about the coronavirus eating everything? Why ain't picking up this one? Oh, my God. He's eating everything. I'm getting working out. Ooh. <laughs> they going to still go to the gym. Well, go. I'm doing what's best for me. Me. I don't want to go. I don't want to get bit by the coronavirus. Them bites hurt. So, I'm going to sit my ass here and exercise and a little cardio. It's a big park lot. So, I'm going to run up and down this park lot. Plus, I need to lose this weight anyway. I mean, it's kind of hard to do all that shit in the Olympic machine. Boring ass shit. Run my ass up and down this park lot. Right here. <coughs> yeah, start running. There's a track around the corner. <laughs> I don't have to see a gym, gym this winter. Running from the coronavirus. Because a lot of people are not paying attention. They've already said this virus is spreading like wild. That's why Europe is back in lockdown. But see, remember they said we ain't locking down America no more. So, let me tell you how this is going to play out for those who don't understand this. If America chooses not to lock down because of the coronavirus, that means that something else is going to happen. We have to make a choice about how to keep the emergency rooms from being so um, overwhelmed with patients. So if we're not gonna shut down and we still want our, our, our ICUs and hospitals to function normally, somebody gotta die. You hear me, right? In order for these hospitals to function normally, they're gonna start making decisions. You get to live, you get to die. You get health insurance, you live, you a poor nigga, you die. You got some money, you made a donation to the hospital, your whole family get to live. You a bunch of poor niggas, ain't got shit. Die, 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 die. Y'all think I'm bullshit. There gonna be some decisions made in these hospitals based upon income, race, what do you bring to the side? Oh, he's homeless. <laughs> he's a doctor. I don't live. He's a janitor. Sure, we can get plenty of them. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Y'all don't get it, do you? Because see, if we don't lock down, we're going to run out of bed space and hospital space and ICU space. And so some decisions got to be made. And some folks ain't going to get the, you get the live check. They might even just roll some dice. All right, now. Here we go. What what, what what you got? Okay, it's a crap shot. Okay, you dead. <laughs> Next, <laughs> want to roll the lights too? Maybe it'll spin a little wheel. <laughs> Your number come up. Oh, I got the right number. No, oh, it went too far. You almost had the right number. You want to spin it again? What you want to do? Because right now you're in the death death sentence. It's like will of fortune. At the hospital, and I see you <laughs> trying to breathe. You stand at the wheel, saying, "Hell, oh, am I gonna make it? Am I gonna live?" Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Well, we'll see what happens because that's what happened in New York City last earlier this year. They had to choose: you live, you die, you die, you die, you live. A lot of them died, died, died. 
But anyway, I'm just <laughs> an old fool on the internet. Don't pay me no attention. Don't pay me no attention. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, when you get to the hospital, you you get to choose. Do you want to be on the ventilator or not? You choose ventilation. Okay. And I've heard this from so many people. I thought, well, if they hadn't been on the if they hadn't been on the ventilator, they'd been okay. Uh, they had to go on the ventilator because they couldn't breathe. And the ventilator was the only way they were gonna stay alive to breathe. The ventilator was breathing for them. Don't you not get it? That's what the purpose of the ventilator is. <laughs> okay, these niggas don't get it. But anyway, enough of that mess. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have a lockdown. I don't know if this situation is going to get bad. I, I, I'm going to concern myself with one person. Me. Me. I'm not going to those gyms. These gyms, they just cut the staff in the gym. They don't want to clean them like they were. Every, at the very beginning, LA Fitness was, it was a whole different environment when you came in there. Now they got real lax of days going there. I noticed this. I don't think the bathrooms are filthy. You know, they're not, it's just, it's not working out the way it should be going as we get deeper into this. As people are starting to get more lackadaisical about the maintenance and things in the gym. So I'm like, as I thought about it, I said, you know, I am 50. I've been working out forever. I know what to do. I can jump out of my bed and do 700 push-ups, sit-ups. I can do a lot of shit in this home and look great. Already got an excellent foundation. They did call me that I look like a refrigerator. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out that was that good a bed. That good a bed. Yeah, you look like you built like a refrigerator, Walter. Oh, baby, thank you. Well, you know, thank you. Is, is that good? Well, since I'm built like a refrigerator, my refrigerator there is going to sit this, my ass, my refrigerator in this house and work out here and outdoors. No gems. But that's my decision. You do what's best for your black ass, or white ass, or Hispanic ass, or Martian ass. But if you're from Mars, you're a Martian. Do you have any gay Martian friends with one of them little fancy um, spaceships? I got this Mercedes out here, but I gotta, let me know if you got one of those fancy spaceships. I ain't never been inside one of them. I, I would love you know, take a ride in one of them you know, just to see what it's like. Just let me know. I mean, you know, if you don't mind talking to somebody a little bit, got a body like a refrigerator. But anyway, let me go ahead and get my day started. All these people texting me my Anyway, today it is Monday, November 2nd, the year is 2020. I'm going to get out of here. Go vote, y'all. Like I said, if you're happy with the way things are going, you have two choices. Three choices. Well, two choices if you're happy. Vote for Trump or sit your ass at home. But if you want something different and we want to go down a different path, please go out there and vote for Biden. I put my vote for Biden. We need something different. I don't think we can take four more years of Donald Trump and company. But that's just my decisions. If I do what's best for you, hopefully we'll get through this over the next few days. The election ends tomorrow. Tomorrow is election day. Go vote. Please go vote. Please. Okay, I'm out of here again. It's Monday, November 2nd, the year is 2020. I'm out and enjoy the rest of your day.